Clean architecture is extremely simple, I promise. So let's see what it is and what's the point of it. It's presented as an onion, but it's not onion architecture. But the question is, what do those concentric circles mean? So let's take a different approach. Our application has a goal, and through logic and code, we deliver that. And that application is not a single thing, it's the sum of small things. And you might know them as use cases, business rules, or even features. And some of those business rules will be enterprise-wide, or high-level, and those can be encapsulated in entities also known as your domain model. They are orchestrated by the use cases, but that code doesn't live in a vacuum. You need to use that code, but also that code needs to output something. So you need to connect to the outside world that is represented by clean architecture blue circle. But there's one thing that it's hard to see when looking into that circle. Not everything there, it's equal. Basically, you have two types of technology. One that will use your application code, your logic, Another that will be used by our application code will serve it. But why using concentric circles when we have been doing this for a long time? One of the reasons is that we don't want to be locked into a technology. And we can guarantee that if the inner circles are not aware of the outer circles. And we do that through the most important rule in clean architecture, the dependency rule. And how do we put that in place? By applying the famous dependency inversion principle. In languages such as C Sharp or Java, you will use interfaces to implement a set of contracts. Then your outer layer, the green one, can implement a set of adapters that will translate from the inner circles to the outside and the other way around as well. The green arrows represent the flow of control that it's different of the dependency direction. And adapters have a simple but extremely important job to do. They need to translate a crazy and unpredictable world to our application. And what do we gain with that? Technology independence. And as a byproduct of that, we have pluggable dependencies. So you can swap technologies as you wish. I know what you are thinking. It's extremely rare to need to swap a database technology. But now I ask you, what about testing? If you want to test your application logic in isolation, clean architecture will give you that, a testable architecture. But do you know what's the most interesting part about clean architecture? Clean architecture is just repackaging ideas of other architectures like this one. 